Hi, this is Anthony, the Chief of Staff at The Appliance Doctor, and I want to thank you for joining us for episode number nine of The Appliance Doctor TV.com. And how's everybody out there today? Well, as you know, in episode number eight, I told you it was my birthday, and we were going to Peter Lugas for the first time in my life. Well, let me tell you something the menu wasn't that big. It's steak for one, steak for two, steak for three, steak for four, and but it was unbelievable steak. I'm not really a great, I'm not really a big steak lover, but I tell you what, this was some great steak. The only disappointment I had is in the bartender. When we sat down at the bar, he was a grump, and our waiter, he was also a grump, and we didn't get really good service. So, uh, you know, I showed a little of my tip. I gave him 15%. Normally, I give everybody 20%. But this was the first time in a long time I ended up giving somebody 15%, but that's just me. But listen, I, it made me think it, it was a, a, a awakening of two how our technicians come into your home, how our call takers take your calls, and we have to keep working at that, regardless of how good their business is, and they don't care because, you know, as far as uh, Peter Lucas concerned, as soon as I got up, somebody else was sitting in my seat. They don't care. But me, as a small business owner, I have to care what kind of service I give to you. And because it was my birthday, I think Mayor Bloomberg gave me a gift and I just want to show you, he named the street after us on the Upper West Side. He named the street after the appliance doctor. Isn't that unbelievable? Thank you, Mayor Bloomberg. He must have watched my show. He must have heard that I was 54 years old. So he gave me my own street. And thank you very much, Mayor Bloomberg. So we all used to go up there to the West Side and go see the appliance doctor street. Okay? And uh, at the end of the show, uh, you know we give out five hundred dollars to uh, 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 a charity or to a person that we see in need and this month you really have to stick around and and see it was the story is heartwarming that I had to end up giving you know that I had to feel that this is definitely a family that's deserving of the $500. So stick around and now we're going to bring you to our segment on the couch with the doctor. Thank you for joining us in this segment of on the couch with the doctor. And this month's tip is to get your ovens ready early. Don't wait you with the holidays coming. Don't wait to the last minute like most people do. Okay, it's the beginning of October. Okay, I'm going to give you a two-step check you could do. First, you're going to need a thermometer, an oven thermometer that goes up to 500 degrees. If you don't have one now, go to the local hardware store. They're $5. Second, you're going to go home, set the thermostat on 350, put your thermometer in the middle shelf, and after 45 minutes, you would see what it's reading. It should be within 10 or 15 degrees of what you set your thermostat for. So if it's within 10 or 15 degrees, there's no problem, no, t no worry. Uh, that's, that's normal, okay? Uh, it's very hard to get a pinpoint. But if you are 25, 30 degrees off, maybe you want to call an appliance repair company. The thing is this, do not wait to the last minute. It's tough getting a service company that last week before Thanksgiving. Of course, if you do need somebody, uh, we're available. But a lot of times, parts take two or three days to come in. And sometimes people uh, have to make other arrangements for their Thanksgiving dinner. But uh, the one thing is, you know, you want your oven within 10, 15 degrees for your turkey, for your breads, for your pastries, for whatever you're cooking, and, uh, you know, so get, do it early. If you have any problem, give us a call. For the longest and time, the appliance doctor wanted to put some tips down on paper and, 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 and put it in a book form so that his consumers could, uh, have some tips to check in case the washer wasn't working, in case the dryer wasn't working, maybe some minor things that you could check on your own. 
And finally, we did that in a 16-page consumer's guide for the appliance repair industry. So what I'm doing is uh, it's going to be on my website at appliancedoctorx.com. Okay, that's appliancedoctorx.com. Go there and get your free copy. And remember that we're doing this and hoping that we can educate our consumers and having them to try a few things before they even have to call us. And with that, you know, every month we give away $500. Now, you know how that started. I was watching Secret Millionaire. I love the concept. I can't afford to give that much money away, but I can afford to give $500. So this month's recipient is a family in Yonkers who just lost their son, who just lost their father, who she just lost her husband, okay, in Afghanistan. Now, Sergeant Edward Frank, he was in his third tour of duty, uh, two tours in Iraq. This was his first tour in Afghanistan. His unit was under fire. He had leave. He was ready to leave. And uh, he wrote to his, his mother-in-law and he told her, I can't leave now. My unit's under fire and I'm gonna stay here with my boys. And what happened is that a car bomb, uh, a, a roadside bomb, I should say, uh, blew up and killed him and four of his unit. And uh, I have to say that Mr. Frank uh, is a father of three. Uh, you know, I have to say that he had a lot of courage. Uh, he thought of his boys first. He thought of his country first. Uh, he could have went home on leave. It was his time. He chose to stay. He gave up his life and I feel that, you know, the least I could do this month is to help the family with $500 and uh, just, just uh, hopefully his kids know and grow up to know that their father was a hero. Uh, with that, I want to thank you for joining us for episode number nine.